morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to the School of the Prophet with us here today. We have a great lesson for you today. We're going to come out of the book of Acts 15 and 16 and verse 36. It says, Then after some days, Paul said to Barnabas, Let us go back and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord and see how they are doing. That's in Acts 15 and 36. Now that was Paul's idea to go visit his brethren. Now if you go to Acts 16, verse 6, you will see that it says, Now, when they had gone through Philippi in the region of Galilee, they were forbidding by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. So you're looking at two different scenarios. Paul made up his mind that he was going to go visit his brethren in these other cities. And he was going to fellowship with them where they have preached. But when they get to Asia, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, forbid them to preach in that city. Reason why, we all know the story, they had to be somewhere else. So sometime in leading by the Holy Ghost, being a prophet or a prophetess, when you are deciding to do something or visit another church or visit another brother and fellowship with someone else, you can get there and you, you know, may think that you're going to deliver a message for that church or whatnot. And God could forbid you from doing it. Reason why? Because he has another mission for you. So you always have to be on the leading of the Holy Ghost. As a prophet, as a prophetess, be cautious and listen. Always listen to the Holy Ghost because Proverbs 14 and 12 tells you there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end of it is destruction. So sometime you may have a good idea to go visit some sister so-and-so, brother so-and-so, fellowship in their church. And you get there and they want you to, you know, give them a scripture. They want you to do this and they want you to do that. But if that's not your mission for that day, at that hour, follow the instruction of what the Lord wants you to do. Because he has a mission when he sent you out. So always listen to what God is telling you to do. That's the message for today.